Grace is the unlimited love and the unmerited favor of God upon those who don't deserve it. By definition, grace always gives and never demands. Grace is never based on justice, but is based on God's infinite love alone. Turn with me to John chapter 3 verse 16 for a minute. It reads, For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth on him shall not perish, but have everlasting life. In the following verse, we find that God loved the world for the sake of his own grace alone. The only thing that drove God to send his only Son was his infinite love, which was born from his infinite grace alone. If not for the grace of God, there is no love of God. And if not for the love of God, then there is no redemption and there is no salvation. This is the reason why the writer of Ephesians in chapter 2, verse 8 to 9, calls grace as a gift. If not for grace, no one would be saved. And if not for grace, no one would be redeemed at the coming of our Lord. And thus, this is the reason why it is imperative for us to understand what grace actually is. Because we live in a world today where people are prone to fall into these errors, such as grace is grace, but then grace must produce works in order for it to be grace. They use mental gymnastics and theological gymnastics to confuse the believers. On the other hand, there are people who totally obscure the meaning of grace by saying grace means freedom from the law. Nowhere in the Bible do we ever find that grace came to bring freedom from the law. All that the writer of Corinthians says that grace came to free us from the condemnation of the law, not from the law itself. The law is good and holy and just. The law was not the problem. The sinner was the problem. The sinner was the one who broke the law because he was tainted by sin. And this is what grace does. Grace acknowledges the sinner as a sinner. But grace says, I'm not going to leave you like a sinner. I'm going to transform you into the righteousness of God. And this is what God exactly did in us by his Holy Son, the Lord Jesus Christ, through his Holy Spirit. We were regenerated, in other sense, we were completely washed and were born again and were made a new creation. This was not the act of the believer's works, which convinced the Lord to do so, but rather God, out of his infinite mercy, due to his infinite grace, regenerated the believer. You see, grace is not mercy. Grace is much more than mercy. And this is the reason why we must take our time to appreciate the grace of God in our lives. Grace did not bring us freedom to sin, but rather freedom from sin. And in short, grace is the perfect gift of God that is ever faithful, that is ever merciful, that is ever loving towards the believer. And when the believer truly understands what grace is, he would be transformed.